Hey, it's Lauren. Today we are going to be talking about Half Magic Beauty by Donny Davy, and I picked up a couple of different products. I picked up the Chrome Addiction Shimmer Shadows in the shade ASMR and Spirit Guide, as well as the Magic Brownie Lip Trick Kit. So let's talk about these. Um, I'm going to start out with the Chrome Addiction, which is the Shimmer Shadows. These are a liquid shadow. They are $24 each. And let me swatch them on my arm so you can get an idea of what these look like. They're beautiful. I'm actually kicking myself for not getting the mattes. So this is the shade ASMR. It is like a champagne color with like a blue, blue green kind of shimmer to it. It's kind of hard to pick up that blue, but you definitely get kind of this duochrome effect with this. And then the shade Spirit Guide is like a lilac -y shade with like a periwinkle undertone. Look at that. I'm going to put that right here. Okay. Very cool. And then I'll go ahead and swatch the Magic Brownie Mouth Cloud right here. I love this packaging, by the way. The Lip Trick Kit for the Sculptitude Lip Liner and the Mouth Cloud are $26. Currently, they don't have those sold separately. I hope in the future they will. But there is Magic Brownie. And here are the Sculptitude Lip Liners. We have the shade I Have Needs, which is the lighter of the two liners. And then I'll Pray For You, which is the richer, deeper shade. You can tell it's a bit deeper than Magic Brownie. So let's put some of this on our eyes. Now that this is dry first, I do want to show you something. This stuff, once it dries, it does not go anywhere. Okay, that one was still a little wet, but like once it dries, it's not coming off. You can get some of it on your fingers, but like it does not easily move around. Interestingly though, I'm gonna wipe off my hand. Interestingly though, um, if you put a little bit of water on this, it does come off pretty easily. And that actually reminds me a lot of the Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lorex um, eyeshadows. They're very thin in texture, um, but they come off easily with water, which was surprising to me. Oh boy, we're gonna have a big old mess on my arm. This is a good way to show you though. These things do not wanna come off. Like the lip liner, holy smokes. I had that on yesterday forever. Yeah, these are, you have to work. You have to work to get this stuff off until you put water on it, interestingly. Okay, so I'm thinking for today's look, we're going to go with kind of like a soft fairy princess kind of vibe because like I've got, I don't know, I've got my hair kind of pulled back and like I don't know what we're doing today exactly and I don't really want to have like a really harsh liner situation. Um, let me also demo something real quick. So if you are like myself and you want more of a soft, diffused look using the Chrome Addictions um, rather than like a hard liner look. So if you want to do a liner look, we'll do that first. You can kind of use the corner of it and do like this. I have also used a little tiny um, eyeliner brush. This is just a MAC brush. I'll put some on here. And you can definitely... Good gracious, that was loud. You can definitely get um, like a much more crisp line. Sorry, this is very hard to do. Not like looking at it <laughs> in my camera. Um, you can definitely get like a very sculpted line. She does have a stencil, like a silicone stencil that you can put next to your eye. And I'm actually kicking myself for not buying that. Okay, but like I was saying, if you are like myself and you want more of like a soft, diffused shadow look, I recommend using your fingers for this because it dries so quickly. So let me show you what that is like with a brush if you try to do it. I just found that trying to blur this out with a brush did not go as smoothly as I had hoped because it does dry to a powder kind of setting almost instantaneously. <laughs> the, these are not something you can put on and blend and work for a long time. They do dry, I would say within 10 seconds. Like they, they are, set. So yeah, I find that using a brush, it almost made it a little bit patchy. But let me show you when you apply this with your finger, if you're trying to get like a really soft, diffused kind of look, going in with your finger and then just like dragging that color up. 
works much better. You get a much better color payoff with that kind of chrome metallic finish. And you're able to kind of buff that pigment out without it becoming patchy. So that's just my personal recommendation. So let's create like a fairy princess garden vibe for today. <laughs> I'm going to take the spirit guide shade because I really like this purple. I think it's really fun. Um, and I'm going to put that on my lid space and then I'm going to go back in with ASMR and I don't know, do something with it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this very close to my lash line here. I'll actually drag it up on my lid a little more. Put that down and then very quickly go in. Like I said, I, I just think a, a finger application, if you're trying to get more of a diffused look, is just better with these. Like so. Very, very pretty though. Very bright and kind of metallic. I'm really into this. I think that's what makes Half Magic so special and what Donnie Davy has done um, through her work on Euphoria is that during a period of time where so much of the world, we really went minimalist and pared back, sat inside, didn't go out and do things. I think that's what's so fun about this line is it is like maximalist vibes, you know? It's completely different than a lot of the makeup we've seen out and about. And I think that's what makes it so exciting. And I also love that it's easy to use, you know? Um, I think that's really, when you're trying to create a makeup line, you have to think about who your audience is. Is it a bunch of makeup artists that are gonna use it or is it a bunch of common people who are just wanting to play with makeup? And I think there is a learning curve with this because like I said, these chrome addictions dry extremely fast, but they're very pretty. They're high impact with minimal time. So if you can get used to working really fast and understanding kind of how they work, I think you'll really enjoy these. I really want to get the matte ones. There's like a, like a periwinkle shade that is super cool. Um, okay. So there's that. Let's do ASMR. I actually love how these two layer. It's really, really pretty. Um, it kind of kicks up the blue reflect in this shimmer. Let me see, since I've still got that on my arm, you can kind of see here. So you put ASMR on here and then like kind of buff that over. It really kicks up that kind of blue green shimmer pigment that you get from this. So hmm, where do I want to do this? I'm going to do it on my inner corner and I kind of want to pull it into my tear duct. Again, I love that this line kind of has those maximalist vibes, but I want to apply them in more of a minimalist way, the way that I normally do my makeup it just makes it kind of fun and different you know okay let's see that's also the the thing about these is that you um they're easy to hold <laughs> because they're so like kind of big and rectangular so if you really want to use that like fat side you can hold it easily if you want to like angle it and turn it you've got enough surface area to hold on to which i think is really clever Look at that blue, it just like kicks it up. It's super cool. Really just like a fun metallic look. It almost has like a wet look. So they also have uh, their like, what do they call them? There's something pills, glitter pills, I think. And it's like their liners and there was like a holographic one that I was super interested in getting. I didn't get it. I was, I decided to play it kind of safe with this first order, but now I'm like, dang it, I should have gotten that too. But it's like a holographic silver. It's actually just like super cool. That's kind of the thing. If you wear more natural looking makeup, sometimes when you want to do something kind of wild and out there with this kind of stuff, you have to ask yourself like, how much am I actually going to wear that? So that's why I kind of played it safe, but I will say Donnie Davy is going to bust a lot of people out of the more minimalist looks that we've been doing into this more like 
maximalist disco kind of thing. It's just so much fun. I'm gonna throw on a bit of mascara. Gosh, it's so much fun. Lasts all day. Glitter does not fall out either, worth noting. So much fun. I'm gonna put on some mascara and then we'll come back for the lip trick kit. It is amazing what a little mascara can do to really just pump up a look. This is the Jason Wu Hot Fluff and I just absolutely love it. It does not come off easily. It's very water resistant. I wore this over a weekend where we spent a lot of time in the pool and I was splashed over and over and over. And while my lashes didn't look like 100% perfect anymore, I didn't have streaks all down my face, but I still could just like wash it off easily. Great stuff. Um, okay, let's talk about the lip kit. I'm going to start with the Sculptitude, the liner. I'm debating for this look. I think I'm going to keep it on the lighter side and do kind of Donnie's signature ombre lip. They sent a pamphlet um, with like kind of how she does her different lip techniques. And so I'm going to use the lighter of the two. I have needs and I'm going to outline my lips. You can see it's kind of this peachy brown color and I don't want it to be like a dark lip competing with my eyes right now. So I'm going to keep it on the lighter side. These are super like creamy and easy to use. You can buff it around a little bit, but like these stay on for a really long time. They're waterproof, life proof. <laughs> And then I'm going to do, um, I'll pray for you just a little bit of this so you can see what it looks like. And then I'll put the magic brownie mouth cloud over top of it. I did this yesterday and I really liked how it looked. It's just very different than a lot of lip colors that I have. They do set kind of quick. That's kind of the thing about this line things once they are like on they are on <laughs> which is kind of nice but you do again have to learn how to work with it blur out that a little bit more my lips kind of grabbed that more than I thought it would all right now the mouth cloud this stuff you guys oh it's so cool okay it's like this very velvety texture look, but the way that it feels is honestly like so, I get what they called it mouth cloud. It's so plush and soft. and hydrating. This color is unlike anything that I have. And I really like it. It's just very different. It's a brown with a hint of rosiness to it still. Definitely kind of like 90s-esque. And interesting because the rest of her line is very bright. And then you have this one. <laughs> it's just kind of a fun, different color. I like it a lot. But the way that this formula feels, the closest comparison that I have is uh, Rare Beauty's Lip Souffle. But that one I notice throughout the day starts to feel a little more dry where this one maintains a bit more of a balmy feel. I don't know, it's just really a unique product and a really enjoyable one. Um, and I'm excited to see what other color is the launch with it, but it's just, this is such a fun line. It's like the kind of line that, like I said, it's gonna break a lot of more minimalist people, people who are um, a little more tame with their makeup to break out a little bit more and try something kind of fun and different. It's just a really exciting line. I think 
this is probably how people felt when they first saw Mac launch, where it was just kind of this fun, exciting line um, that really encouraged people to play with their makeup and to try different things. I think that this is kind of the modern version of that, where it's just an exciting, fun line to use. And it encourages you to bring out your inner artist a little bit differently. I just, I love her usage of colors, her application techniques. I like that she came out with a tool. I wish I would have gotten it. I think that's really cool. I think this line is really great for her initial, like first launch. Um, you know, each of these, the uh, Chrome Addictions, she has like four shades of each of the shimmer and the matte and the glitter pills. And um, there's two of the Mouth Cloud Lip Trick kits. And there's one that's more of like a purple and then they also have like a blue liner. So you can do like some really wild looks for your lips. I just played it very safe. Because I figured too, I could use this with a lot of different looks. Like I think doing like a really bronzy summer look with this lip would be really cool. Overall, my thoughts. I love the packaging. It's very different than everything else that I own. It's easy to spot it in my makeup and just be like, oh yes, I'm gonna use this today. I love the colors. I think they're really fun and exciting. Um, the formulas are a bit different than some stuff I've used. There's some similarities to other lines, but again, once you learn how to use these formulas and really kind of play around with them, I think they're very easy to use and beginner friendly. Uh, the lip kit, mm, I love the way it feels. I love the way this feels. Yeah, I am into Half Magic Beauty. Oh, that's the other thing. I didn't even mention this part of it. Uh, on the little card, it says, you know, we, we bring half the magic, you do the rest. And I just, I love how that just kind of ties into the overall branding and feel for the line. I think it's really just kind of a, a beautiful way of providing something to help you embrace you. Yeah, super into it. Okay, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give it a little thumbs up. It does help other people find my channel. If you want this type of content, if you want to see more from me, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an upload and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.